you're looking for fast, cheap, reliable mug coins, make sure to check out buymugcoins.com. Link in the description. Use code CK for 10% off. Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK, and today. By looking back at some of the best plays and best moments in NFL history. In every single round, I'm going to be taking a player who has made plays that make me say, Those would be the best memories. I just want to let it go for the night. That would be the best therapy for me. So here we are in round number one. Now it's going to be tough because I'm an Eagles fan. So I know them more than a lot of other teams. Like I don't really have any memories with Tyler Eifert, uh, neither with Michael Thomas. I know he's a young wide receiver. Ted Ginn Jr. though. I can specifically remember a play where he like dropped a wide open pass and that was hilarious to me. So I think that's the best memory, man. We're going with him. So this one's really interesting, man. Deshaun Watson, only a sophomore, but last year he gave us really good memories, man. He had an insane season when he was healthy. But Big Ben Roethlisberger, in practice uh was batting out these like batons or whatever they use to you know hit quarterbacks and then he threw a pass man i thought that was hilarious i think that's the best memory we're going with the quarterback from pittsburgh so round number three we have emmanuel sanders who's low-key kind of a quiet wide receiver at least i don't know too much about him i know he's a good player and all but you know nothing really stands out to me when i think about his past jarvis juice landry once again good wide receiver don't really know too much about him but nuke hopkins low-key one of the better trash talkers at the wide receiver position i remember one time a coach walked up to him and said i just want to say this to you right now you're the best in the game i know so just for that you know that that level of cockiness and confidence is just incredible man that's a hilarious memory i'm gonna have to go with him so this is where things get a little bit difficult man we have three linemen that i literally know nothing about other than some of them are actually really good offensive linemen like hudson and lang i'm just gonna take a shot in the dark and go with rodney hudson i don't maybe he did something that, that that's memorable i think this one is relatively easy man it's hard to forget someone of aaron donald's stature just remembering his workout videos is enough on its own man i gotta go with him another a relatively easy round in my opinion man it doesn't get much better when it comes to the cornerback position than a guy like Darius Big Play Slay I know he's made a lot of big plays against my Philadelphia Eagles but uh yeah this is this is pretty easy another easy round man three in a row obviously a guy who's trash talk like crazy Richard Sherman is easily the guy in this round man he's produced so many good memorable moments uh, you know, the Crabtree one. Well, I'm the best corner in the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. Another round where we have guys who are really young, so they don't have too many memories in the NFL. But I do specifically remember one game last year where Derrick Henry went absolutely off and uh, pretty much solidified his spot as the starter for the Titans. So I got to go with him. Is this one even a contest, man? When you have a guy like Malcolm Butler, who made one of the best defensive plays in Super Bowl history, it's a no-brainer. We got to go with the cornerback. I got to be completely honest once again i don't know too much about any of these guys so we're just going to take a right tackle give some love to the offensive line so this was actually really difficult even though we have an eagles player who obviously i've watched every single game he's played in the mock of jenkins he's done a lot off the field you know memorable moments by supporting kaepernick and stuff like that but a key to leave snatched somebody's chain twice twice bro come on man this is not an easy decision but the fact that we have so many cornerbacks uh you know pretty much prompts me to go ahead and take malcolm we get to take another philadelphia eagle in round number 12 and if you're an eagles fan you probably agree with me that jason peters has so many memorable moments but the one where he pretty much chuck stick uh chris baker after he you know blindsided nick Foles out of nowhere uh, i think that's one of the most memorable moments for me i'm gonna have to go with the left tackle another i guess you could say biased pick i gotta go with my man zach Ertz. that catch on fourth down in the super bowl uh was incredible like that was one of the most memorable moments as an eagles fan if he didn't catch that who knows we might have lost that game so i gotta go with the tight end this one is pretty much just general knowledge like killer cam chancellor one of the hardest hitting safeties of our generation there's so many moments i can count in terms of being very memorable so i gotta go with him you got are gonna call me biased but what do you want from me once again going back to the super bowl brandon graham with that strip sack fumble on tom brady pretty much solidified the w man i gotta go with that as the best memory now all these players in this round are are really good but i think khalil mack the fact that he just got traded to the bears for some scraps it, it should pretty much convince you bro i'm never gonna forget that trade so yeah he's gonna be on my team look at who we have rushing the passer bro that's just incredible so this one's actually closer than it appears when you first look at it man ty Gurley and greg olson both really good players greg olson actually people forget about 
about how good he was before he started getting injured and stuff like that, man. The guy has a lot of memorable moments, but Ty Gurley went ahead and absolutely dominated the NFL last year. I gotta go with him. Larry Fitzgerald has so many memorable moments. I honestly think he would be the favorite in any round against any player just because of that play versus the Packers. I think it was in overtime or it was in the fourth quarter, one of those, and he just went off. The guy is as old as he is, just showed so much heart, so much tenacity to will his way down, I think inside the five yard line. I'll never forget that play. One of the best memories I can remember. Uh, but I do remember CJ Mosley making a ton of great plays and you know, low key, I need an MLB. So <laughs> I might have to finesse. Now here we have a little bit of a tough decision, man. Who forgets about Dan Marino? Like he's one of the best to ever do it. Me being an Eagles fan, I saw DeMarcus Ware terrorize the hell out of us for years. Like he was absolutely unbelievable. So much respect for him. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it to him. Well, what do you know? We actually have the highest draft maybe this entire year, bro. 84 overall. You have Big Ben, Todd Gurley, Larry Fitzgerald, Nuke Hopkins. Offensive line, pretty decent. Zach Ertz at tight end, a nice MLB. Side linebacker right next to him, an amazing defensive line. Cornerbacks filthy, and so is the secondary, man. I can't remember a more well-rounded team. But uh, yeah, man, of course, if you have Le'Veon Bell, you're feeling a little bit weird right now. Like, he's currently not showing up to Steelers or anything like that, man. So yeah, I I'd be a little bit worried if I was a Steelers fan. Uh, X is wide open. Let's go ahead and get that first down, Zach Ertz. Way to go. Even their quarterback, Big Ben, said, one person doesn't make the team so i don't know man he has a point honestly but Le'Veon bell is going to be very very hard to replace let's see what we got open this time circle wide open oh my goodness tedkin jr way to get the catch in nice spin move we're across midfield this is kind of disrespectful bro i don't know what he's doing i think he's going to blitz that cornerback no he's not he was just bluffing he was bluffing man r1 wide open that's an easy catch fitzgerald come on brother it's not like this dude is playing incredible defense i mean he's getting to the ball right when it arrives at the wide receiver but i feel like we're, we're thrown to the open man we just gotta do better man fourth down i feel like we can get this first down i feel like we can get this first down r1 come on baby fitzgerald drops it again bro what is going on pa crosses as usual as usual man okay he's going deep look at that look at that user play man i knew it was coming you're damn right i went ahead and looked up how to stop pa crosses i cannot let have that happen and so uh here's a big play third and nine baby come on oh okay that's incomplete baby let's go gonna do my best to try to replicate what happened on the first drive in terms of how well we moved the ball uh starting out in a single back formation we got ted Ginn jr out there and uh, let's see what's open. Let us see what's open. Go upfield, please. Okay, please keep going upfield. R1, I see you. Let's go, man. Big Ben. Nice pass. I love that play right there, man. We, we found a way just to make something out of nothing. First and 10, going to some play action. Uh, circle, I see you. Circle, I see you, baby. New Hopkins, get them tiptoes and bam. I still can't for the life of me uh, understand why he went ahead and started chewing clock when he didn't even get a first down yet. But everybody different, you know what I'm saying? Here comes a run. Oh, we got pancakes all over the place. We got pancakes. Time early. Getting oh, down inside the 10. I thought that was a touchdown. Hopefully, we're not terrible in the red zone. Hopefully, we're not terrible, baby. Let's see what happens. X is wide open. What am I doing? Let's go, Herbs. Giving us the lead. Ooh. bro do not let this man score a touchdown on a kick return i'm sick you know it just sucks when you drive down the field put together an amazing scoring drive and then your opponent erases all of that within one play but it is what it is i feel like we can do it again man ty Gurley on a halfback stretch hitting the outside baby oh the blocks are beautiful the blocks are beautiful ty Gurley. oh what a run now i don't want all the nfl news to be negative so uh some positive news if you're a seahawks fan man earl thomas is rejoining your team today I, I bet you guys gotta be feeling good about that after losing cam chancellor and richard sherman we're going to the halfback stretch to the left side let's go baby Ooh, henry derrick henry show what he can do derrick henry still on his feet this dude's a problem henry giving us a seven point lead again Not again, not again, no way! No way they let this dude get two kick return touchdowns! Are you kidding me, bro? What is going on? 
I really don't know what else to say. That's just one of the most unlucky things that could happen, man. Two kick return touchdowns back to back. But uh, hey, I have faith in our offense to go ahead and get the points right back, man. Ty Gurley, let's go, baby. That's the big reason why. The way he's playing right now, obviously, is a big reason why we got him, bro. The, the guy just makes so many plays, man. Second and four. We're going to the play action once again. He keeps on going to man defense. X is wide open. Let's go, man. Big Ben Roethlisberger having himself a first half. So we ended up moving the ball all the way down the field just to take three but it's all good we have the lead hopefully now that i'm not up a touchdown he doesn't score a touchdown off the kick return but hey you never know we've actually seen his offense and he punted with the quickness so yeah that that, that just makes me even more mad that the fact that the defense already got to stop and uh this is only the second time they're on the field but somehow he has 14 points man it just sucks it really just sucks let's see what he has open this time okay he's gonna try to go deep that's a nice pass pa crosses is just unbelievable it was just one of those situations where we just had a lapse in coverage it is what it is it happens here comes second and seven he's gonna run the ball again no i was not expecting that he's gonna take the lead so here we go man start of the second half and uh, once again, he's going to start with the ball and go right up the gut. But I'm worried about that PA crossers. And he's actually going to pass it. Yes, sir. PA crossers. I saw it the whole way. Come on. No, we have someone manned up on him. And he still gets open, bro. I don't know what else to do. Of course, the QB sneak, man. We're down two possessions. This one just sucks. Let's go, girly. Amazing run, man. We're moving the ball. We got to keep it up, though. Here we go, boys. Third and goal. We got girly going out. We got everybody going out. And uh, let's see. See if anybody can get open. Come on. R1. 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 Okay. Okay. Larry Fitzgerald. Ah, we're going to have to take the three. Easily one of the biggest plays of the game right here. Third and four, baby. He's going to pass it. Oh, it's not PA crosses. It's not PA crosses. He's going to try to scramble. Yes. Let's go, man. I really thought he was going to go for it. But hey, we have a chance. Eight point lead. We have to score or get a two point conversion. I know we can do it, baby. I know we can do it, baby. Come on, Ted Ginn. Okay, nice return. I think he's going to man defense. Yes, sir. He's going to man defense. X wide open. That's what I love to see. Go dirt. Amazing catch. Oh, look at this lack of days of coverage, bro. I'm going to have to run the ball. This is disrespectful to Ty Gurley. Very disrespectful, man. Look at the pancakes. Oh, my goodness. I'm trash. I'm absolutely doo-doo for that, man. I should have went ahead and somehow found a way. Somehow found a way, bro. It's all good, though. It is all good. Oh, X. X, I see you, baby. Let's go. Go dirt. Oh, hit him with that stop and go. Down inside the 20. So many guys going out for routes. We need good blocking, too. We need a really good blocking. R1 wide open. Larry Fitzgerald. Let's go. Making up for those drops earlier in the game. That's what I love to see. Now, hopefully, he thinks it's going to be a QB sneak, but it's actually going to be a toss. Yes, we're going to try to get to the outside. Hopefully, Mr. Gurley can make a play. Come on, baby. Come on, Gurley. Let's go. Dive in there. Tom Gurley. What a beast. Now, obviously, it comes down to this. Biggest play of the game. Two-point conversion. I'm going to need somebody to step up. Play with my money. I'm going to let a nigga do it. Play with my money. I'm going to let the nigga do it. Play with my money. I'm going to let the nigga do it. Play with my money. Play with my, play with my, play with my, my man, Zach Ertz. Who else was I going to go to, man? He makes clutch plays. We got some overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Now, uh, let's see if we can get the toss. He's going to be picking. And we have the toss, baby. Going to try to play as smart as possible. No turnovers. And we should have a good chance of getting this W, man. I'm going to put my man's nuke on a comeback route. Looks like he's playing some lackadaisical coverage. Okay, we have Ty Gurley wide open. Ty Gurley getting the cutback. Getting close to the first down. We got a taste of what kind of defense he's going to run in overtime. So here we go. Here we go, baby. Oh, oh, who's open? Go up, Phil, please. R1, I see you, baby. Larry Fitzgerald. Amazing play right there. We're across midfield. I ain't giving him no time to rest. Nah, nonstop. We're keeping it going, baby. Here we go. Come on. Oh, girly open again. Square wide open. Let's go, New Hopkins. What a catch in traffic. How do you like the map? Well, second and one. Fitzgerald doing a drag across the middle. Oh, oh, R1 wide open. Let's go, Fitzgerald. Catching everything right now. Here we go, boys. Third and 10. Easily a big play. Very big play right here. X wide open. Let's go. Come on, Fitzgerald. Hurdle that young man. We're down at the one. This is it, baby. We get this touchdown. We win this game. Look at him. He's, he's scrambling. He's nervous. That's what you get for running the same play 
39 times, baby. Let's go. Big Ben not getting the touchdown. We're going to hit the hurry up. We're going to hit the hurry up. We run a QB sneak every single play until you stop it. You didn't stop it that time. I stopped myself. I stopped myself, brother. What are you talking about? Big Ben giving us the touchdown. We win this game. Y'all got to like the video for that, man. You thought it was over. Keep it a buck. 28 to 17. We come back off of this one play cheeser. The guy who was getting lucky, man. Two kick return touchdowns. Acting like he's good. Pausing the game, bro. What are you talking about? Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. Please do me a favor. Subscribe. You know around here. Thanks for watching as usual. <laughs> and as for me. Gotta run when I get a bird call. Damn. Hop in that thing and murk off. Swerve off.